O Captain, my Captain, our fearful trip is done. That's the opening line to a Walt Whitman poem lamenting the death of Abraham Lincoln. Written in 1865 after Lincoln's assassination, it refers to Lincoln who, as the captain of the ship, had just guided America through the terrible storm of the Civil War. But in the midst of celebration, there was great sorrow because the ship's captain was fallen cold and dead. Far too soon, that humble servant was dead, much to the loss of America. While we can mourn the loss of a Lincoln who was struck down too soon by death's ugly call, there is one captain who was cruelly struck down, but for whom we need not mourn. When we look at Jesus, the captain of our salvation, we see one who was made perfect through suffering. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, and bringing many sons to glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Hebrews 2, verse 10. Yes, Jesus was struck down, but not because he was lacking in anything, but because we were. He was struck down in our place. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he, by the grace of God, might taste death for everyone. Hebrews 2, verse 9. For three days the disciples mourned and wept because his body was fallen cold and dead. But death could not hold him, Acts 2, verse 24 tells us. Through death, Jesus was made perfect to lead many sons to glory as the captain of our salvation, Hebrews 2, verse 10. That passage should take our minds to the account of Joshua getting ready to lead Israel, God's chosen sons, to glory in conquering Canaan. Because of the challenging battles ahead, God let Joshua know his captain was there to lead them into the fight. Now it came about when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man was standing opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? He said, No, rather I indeed come now as captain of the host of the Lord. Joshua 5 verses 13 and 14. Leaving the debate over whether this was an angel or Jesus for others, just know that God was leading Israel into battle. And knowing that our captain, who is most definitely Jesus, is here to lead us into battle, let's pick up the sword of truth and fight the good fight until our fearful trip is done. Now is the time for confident boldness in proclaiming the message of salvation and hope for those who will follow Captain Jesus. Will you follow him in the fight by proclaiming that message? But first, is Jesus your captain? Let me know if you need help making that happen. Until tomorrow's Morning Minutes in the Bible, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.